Hello everyone, we will continue the topic parameters and in the previous video, we covered how to go for default value, how to make a parameter mandatory using the keyword obligatory, how to create radio buttons using parameters. Now we will go for how to create checkbox using parameters. We all know checkbox means what we will select the checkbox or we will deselect the checkbox whenever we will select the checkbox value will be capital x whenever we will deselect the checkbox value will be space at that point of time same thing we discussed in case of radio button also whenever you will select a radio button value will be capital x whenever you will deselect a radio button value will be space at that point of time. Now we will see how to create checkboxes. Now I will go for parameters. Suppose my name of the checkbox is P underscore CHK. Suppose I am writing CHK1. Now whenever you want to create checkbox, the keyword is as, as checkbox. Now I will simply put dot. So this is the way to declare a checkbox. So we all know by default checkbox has a length of one. So whenever you will give the name and write as checkbox, SAP will automatically take the length one. Suppose I'm going for one more checkbox. P underscore CHK2 suppose as checkbox. So I created two checkboxes. Now never, never forgot to activate the program because after activation only we will be able to provide the selection text. Suppose if I am running the program, end user will never understand P underscore CHK1 p underscore chk2 we need to provide that description so how to provide that description i will go for go to text element selection text suppose i will give the p underscore chk suppose it stands for first it stands for set i will activate now, whenever I will go to back button and run, you can see we have two checkboxes, first and second. The major thing is at a time you can select one radio button, whatever the radio button group you used among that, whatever the radio buttons are there at a time, you can only select one radio button. But if it is checkbox, you can select multiple checkboxes because this is the provision. This is our real world. Whenever we have an exam, suppose there is a question that is multiple choice and there is a question multiple select. Whenever there is a multiple select, that is always in the form of checkbox because you can go for multiple selection. But whenever the question is in the form of radio button, it is multiple choice means I can go for only one choice. Suppose now I will write some code. Suppose I am simply writing write statement, write one. So that I can show you that how the value is capital X. I am not giving any default value to this radio button. So that you can understand fully. I am putting a breakpoint and show you in the debugging mode. I am running. Suppose as of now, I am selecting suppose third radio button and I am selecting both the checkboxes and I am giving some input. It means third radio button is capital X and these two checkboxes are capital X. Rest will be space. Rest will be false. Now I am whenever I am executing and show you in the debugging mode, you can see but the first radio button P underscore R1. You can see it is blank. 
P underscore R2, it is blank. Now, if I will go for P underscore R3, you can see it is capital X because this is true. Now, if I will go for first checkbox, it is capital X. If I will go for second checkbox, it is also capital X. Yes. So this is very, very useful concept. Once the programming will start fully, we will write the logic based upon this true value only based upon this true value. Suppose simple in this case, we took this the sum subtraction division. So we'll write the logic based upon these conditions only. If first radio button capital X, sum logic. If second radio button capital X, subtraction logic. If third radio button capital X, division logic. So based upon the selected radio button, we will write the logic. And we all know whenever the radio button and checkboxes are selected, the value will be capital X. Now the last most important point, and this is a common mistake which we saw and how to resolve that. It's a very, very common mistake. Suppose we gave some name to the parameters. Suppose I'm giving the name to the parameter. Suppose I'm saying P underscore order one. Okay, I can give any name. It's my wish. Suppose I'm checking the syntax. As of now, it is correct. There's no error. Suppose I'm writing P underscore order one by. Now, whenever I will check the syntax, have you seen I'm getting an error? Now, what the error is, the parameter name can be up to eight characters long. As of now, when I did up to this level, there's no syntax error at all. So what is the length of the, what is the length of this name? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up to this level, it is okay. But when I increase the length from eight to nine, I'm getting an error that parameter name can be up to eight characters long, especially for the beginners. They will give any big name. As it's a limitation, we cannot give the name to the parameter more than eight characters long. We so we need to compulsory. Anyways, name is it in our hand. So we should give always, always the same name, small name, and name should not exceed eight character. So whenever you are declaring any parameter or any select option, same thing is applicable for select option also. Whenever you are declaring any parameter or select option, always, always give the length less 8 or less than 8. Because whenever you will give the length more than 8, system will give you syntax error that parameter or select option length cannot be more than 8 characters. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we studied how to create checkboxes also. If whenever you want to create checkbox, you need to give the name and you need to use the keyword as checkbox. Now, after that, we saw in the debugging mode, whenever you are selecting value will be capital X for those things. For others, the value will be space. Then we studied one of the most important point that a parameter or select option name Whatever you are giving the parameter or select option name, it should not exceed more than eight characters. Eight is the limit. Eight is the maximum, maximum length you can provide. Now, in the next video, we will start with the select options. So that's it in this video. Thank you.